This is my Can-Am Defender. We're gonna be seeing how well it does in six inches of snow. We all remember how well it done in ice. Yeah, it didn't do that good. I accidentally slid it off a cliff. But hopefully we don't have a repeat. Now I live in the mountains of Kentucky. We got about six inches of snow this storm. But before we get to riding, I wanna show you what I'm driving. This is a 2021 Can-Am Defender XT, which XT, I think it means it has bigger tires and a winch on it. Hey, 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 that winch, we might need it today. That winch may be really important today. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, I've added on a windshield and doors, which let me tell you, they are a lifesaver. And as for the tires, I'm really not working with anything special. These are actually stock tires. Maybe they're not stock. These are actually stock tires and they're half wore out. So we're not exactly working with anything special, but it's gonna be really interesting to see how this thing holds up throughout the six inches today. It's also gonna be interesting to see how I hold up today because usually I'm riding around in dirt, mud, and the woods. Snow really isn't something I deal with a lot. Well, this is gonna be a little challenge for me too. But one key thing about it is that we're not just riding for fun. We have an objective. I have two trail cameras, which batteries are currently dead, but they're kind of back in the woods and they're not exactly easy to get to. So the challenge today is simple. Use my Defender to get to the cameras and change the batteries. In the back of the Defender, I do have an extra gallon of gas, a machete, an ax, a hammer, and two shovels, just in case the day gets a little wonky. And of course, you can't forget, one, two, and three bungee cords. We're pretty much ready for anything. All right, guys, here's what it looks like looking at me, and here is my point of view. I'm gonna be wearing a helmet because, hey, last time I was out in the snow, I almost died. Anyways, here's the basic controls. Got the steering wheel, got the gear thing. I have four wheel drive and the diff lock. Both of those are probably gonna be on the entire time. Light bar, reverse light bar, not gonna need those. It's pretty bright today. Plus it's like two o'clock, so sun's probably not going down anytime soon. That's not saying we won't get in trouble and be out here at night. I don't know what's gonna happen today. We can just hope for the best. Then over here, I got the normal lights. They don't work anymore and the winch. So yeah, I think we have to go down down a hill over there, pretty steep hill too. But first, let's do a few donuts out here in the field. You know, make sure we uh, get a little used to what's going on here. So we got pretty good control so far. Nothing amazing though, I can still get going. Like, I mean, I'm still like sliding around a little bit. But then as for donuts, we can still do donuts pretty good too. Which, you know, donuts are donuts, I guess. They're fun until you're not really meaning to do donuts and you slide into a ditch, then they're not as fun anymore. But you get that. We'll see how fast we can go in the snow. Yeah, we're sliding sideways right there. It says we're going like 30. I don't know if we actually are or not, but you really can't stay too straight if you're playing around, but. One thing I do like about the snow, check this out. Look at all the animal tracks. Like literally you can tell where every species has gone. And you can kind of tell when they done it by just looking at the snow. You can tell that one's way more fresh than this one. So kind of cool. I'm gonna do one more straight away right here. And then we're gonna actually get to work and start getting down to where our cameras are. You're doing okay. I'd much rather be sliding around in snow than on ice. I've not really figured out snow. I mean, I've not figured out ice at all. Snow is okay. I feel slightly confident in snow. Like, I think we should be able to get there and back today. But if it was ice, I'd probably just call off the trip because, I don't know, I don't like ice. Not only do we not get ice very often, but whenever we do have ice, I don't get out because I know what happened last time. But anyways, we got a pretty good hill right here. We're going to take it. We may end up in the bottom of the hauler. We might make it to the bottom, but either way, we got a winch. We got some ropes under the seat. We're really just going to hope for the best. I don't think it should be too bad, though. I don't think anyone's drove on this snow. One thing I do know is that it's a lot easier to drive on snow that no one's drove on yet than it is to drive on snow that people's drove on a lot. Because once snow gets packed down, that's when it kind of turns into ice. And it's a, you know, ice is nice. Not really, but you the point. Yeah, 
I think we're gonna do okay right here. We got a pretty good mountain over here. We're just taking this road. It goes from the top down to the holler. So right here, it's even melted, which is kind of crazy. I don't know if that stuff heats up better or what, but the sun don't hit it or something. But yeah, most of this, we still got pretty good inches everywhere. But you can actually see some spots for whatever reason are starting to heat up and lose snow. So I guess that's good. I'll be honest, I'm kind of tired of it. I like riding around in the snow for about 30 minutes. Then after that, yeah, I'm pretty well ready for it to get going. Cause I, they ain't much to hunt. Most of all the animals that I hunt are, uh, I don't know, sleeping. Squirrels sure ain't getting out in this. Deer, deer season's over. All right, well, we actually, oh, dang it, man. We have a roadblock. We have a serious roadblock. This is another thing that's kind of important for this time of year. Or, well, after a big storm, at least, I didn't know this was here. So now I was gonna try to go over there. Looks like I might actually be in trouble. And yeah, this is a little rough. I don't think I can make it back up the hill we just came. We might try, I thought, yeah, I think we're just in trouble. I'll be honest, guys. I, don't, I didn't think about this. Could try the winch and pull it, but I don't know. This is a big old tree. This is a big old, big old tree. And I'm wearing shorts, so I'm not exactly prepared for this. But yeah, something's been crossing the log right here, but that's not what we're worried about. We're worried about how do we get around it. I'm gonna try to go back up the hill a little bit and go around it. I don't know if that's gonna happen though. My tires aren't the greatest. I wasn't planning on this. We're gonna try our best to make it work. Let's see, reverse, four wheel drive, turn this around. We might be able to make it work, but I, I don't know. My plan, I'm gonna put it in low for this. Uh, I just need to go around it. I don't care to run over some of these small trees, but the problem is gonna be if I can't get traction. No, we actually did okay. Pretty happy about that. Now we're just mowing down saplings, but we got a skid plate, so I guess we're okay. Oh right, yeah, we back online now. Oh. Yeah, we back online. All right, we are getting there. That's it. We're gonna keep on the trucking. All right, guys, so right here, I don't know if you recognize it, that kind of cliff right here, this is where I actually wrecked last time. And luckily I don't see any tire tracks. No one's fell in there yet, but this right here is the little part that really messed me up. I'm gonna go like 10 miles an hour and hit the brakes. Boom. You see how much we slid right there? 10 miles an hour and we slid probably 10 yards or so. That's kind of sketchy. I mean, I don't know, man. I was, up. Oh, oh God, never mind. Spoke too soon. We got someone in a ditch right up here. We'll see, we might be able to help them right here. Can't make this up. And this is actually a public road right here. So like, I mean, it's a very least traveled road. So they don't really maintain it that well. This is the least of their priority, but nevertheless, it is a public road and it's way safer, I think, for me to bring my Defender in here than my truck. I feel way more comfortable in this than my truck, but right up here, someone, a car has slid into the ditch. So I don't know, I guess we'll jump out and we'll see if we can help them real quick. We'll do whatever we can. Been there, done that. Oh, it's not funny, stop laughing. All right, we'll see what we can do. humidity so we get kind of everything we get really cold and snow and then in the summer we get really hot we get obnoxiously cold and aggravatingly hot you know kind of the best and the worst of both worlds but it's whatever you just gotta figure it out and deal with it we're doing okay we're doing okay <laughs> All right guys, so long story short, there was a car parked in the middle of the road that literally stopped me from getting back in there. So we're not gonna get to go to that place, but I do have some more trail cameras that I'm needing to fix. But just real quick, I got some pigeons. Um, I'm gonna shoot them real quick. So give me a minute. You know, we're doing a riding video, but we got some pigeons that need to go to. Pigeons are invasive and they're a pretty bad invasive. So all the hunting rules go out the window. So me about to bail out and shoot them. Totally fine. You can see the pigeons though. 
Eh, maybe you can't. Yeah, them's pigeons. I don't know. My windshield's a little too dirty, but you see them little dots? Them's pigeons. And they are a problem. You know, some of them, nothing heavy. Just a nice little kind of hoo, a boom. One less pigeon that can poop in the attic, you know what I mean? Let's go pick him up, then we're gonna keep on riding. Update, the pigeon got stuck on the roof, which is just part of it. But here's some pigeon tracks, kinda cool. That there would be a pigeon track. Pretty cool. The sheep think I'm here to feed them, but guess what? I ain't. We're here to ride. So uh, yeah, I got my hunting fix in for the day. Now let's keep on riding, see what this thing can do. Old Defender. All right, guys, we're starting up this hill right now. I think we should be able to make it. There's already been some people making it through here. Honestly, so far, it's doing pretty good. I am surprised for sure. I'm still in high gear, and we're not doing anything crazy yet. This is just a really basic hill, like not, just a hill. Not really a mountain, nothing rocky, nothing crazy, but we are in four wheel, and we're actually handling it pretty good, so. Honestly, not mad about it. It might be handling the mountains pretty well. Like, so far, it's so good. Do a little quick donut right here, and now we're gonna head back down. Oh, yeah, let's head down this trail. Nice and slow. See if we can just creep down this snowy hill. Doesn't look like anyone's been down this little part yet. So that's cool. That's always nice. And then right here, we'll take a left and slide down this part. Oh boy, this is steep. This is. Oh yeah, this is real steep. I actually held back pretty good though. I'm pretty happy about that. That was a steep part, but we made it work. So not mad about that. And then we'll just creep down this part and then boom. We just went up and down with no problems at all. Honestly, kind of building the confidence in the Defender. I've not had this thing out a ton in snow, but whatever that little bit was right there, I'm actually pretty happy about it. I feel good. I'm ready to go to a bigger spot now. Here we got a pretty cool thing. Nice little high cliff road overlooking the river down there. So if you slip here, you're uh, you might have a bad day because you're probably going to die and drown at the bottom. So, But there is actually a really cool spot out here. We're going to drive down this little road that we can actually get down in the river with the defender i don't know if we're actually going to do that but we will go ahead and take the road down there we will get pretty close to the river i don't think we'll drive in it just because that sounds like a really bad idea but we will get down there closer to it this right here is just another little back road that i guess they don't put salt on so the snow is still pretty fluffy here get a few people throw it but not nothing like a ton so we should be able to handle this stuff right here like a dream yeah pretty good is get way too confident though because then you're sliding off the cliff and you're gonna have a bad day so you gotta step back for a second let's see we should be able to stop right here all right brakes and you see what happened we hit the brakes i think i'm starting to learn a little bit about snow and ice but whenever you slam on the brakes you kind of just throwing everything out the window i think it's honestly better to keep hitting the gas the direction you want to go and I think it'll all work out. But I think if you just go and you just straight slam on the brakes, I think you're just asking for it. Let's see, we're going into some new territory. There's a little dip, there's a mud hole right there, but then we're gonna go over it. We're gonna see what we can do. No one's done this yet since it's snow, which is interesting, but so far so good. We're just kind of climbing through it. Really slow. What little tire traction I got appears to be uh, picking up pretty good. So that's a good sign, I guess. Yeah, we're not really having any problems at all. I don't know what I was expecting, if I was expecting just to come out here and wreck, but we are doing better than I thought. We're not going down that hill. That hill's just way too steep. I don't want to play any crazy game. I ain't coming out here to die. I do want to test it out a little bit. Let's test it right here. Medium sized hill. Let's see if we can just creep up it. Worst case scenario, we just come back down. Can we creep up it, creep up it, creep up it, creep up? This is pretty steep, honestly. And we made it. Okay, I'm surprised with that. That's not a tiny hill. I would say that right there was pretty much our limit, though. We really started to have troubles digging out right there at the end, but we didn't make it, so that's a good thing. I would say that's probably the limit, though. I don't know how much y'all can tell from in here, but that's a pretty good hill. Probably about like that. Probably 45 degrees. It's a pretty good hill. 
something pretty heavy duty, I guess. With the tires I got, like I say, and they're half wore out, so they're not the greatest tires in the world at all. And they're definitely not snow tires. They're just the cheapest ones you can get. The ones they come with, pretty much. So yeah, here's a nice little scenic drive. Something light, nothing heavy. Fun fact, the water in the river won't freeze because it's moving. I don't really know if that's fun or not, but it's a fact. Cool drive though. We're almost out to the river. I don't know, my conscience doesn't want me to drive down to the river because it's a one-way street. You go down, then you have to come back up or you're stuck. And I don't really know if I even want to risk it. Like, I, I know there's a, uh, I don't want to be dumb, but I know there's a pretty good chance we should be able to come out of this. So I guess we'll try it. But now if I make one bad mistake and one wrong judgment, then we're not coming back out because there's nowhere else to go. And there's not even any trees around here close that I could hook the winch up to. So if I go down there and I get stuck, good job, Kennel. You just made a bad decision and now you're gonna pay for it. Yeah, I think I wanna turn around. I don't wanna do that today. I got stuff to do, like eat. Yeah, that's important on my list. Eating's fun, don't wanna miss that. Nice, nice. Hey, let me know what y'all think about these kind of off-road uh, videos. If you guys like them, I got a ton of places to ride around here. We'll try it, we'll do more. Y'all just gotta let me know if you like it or not. I kinda like riding too, especially when there's an objective somewhere we're trying to go or some limits that we're trying to test i like riding like that here's a nice little it's a medium hill we shouldn't have any problems on it but i like riding like this because i'm testing the capabilities of my machine the defender because i use this thing all day every day hunting trapping we may hit a limit right here no we bailed out of it let me hit this little piece with a little bit of speed we'll see if that helps in that case a little bit of speed definitely helps i'll keep that in mind but i'm learning about what i'm capable of as a driver and i'm also learning what is my defender capable of as a machine because i'm hunting trapping doing all kinds of stuff out of this every single day and if i'm out here hunting and i see a hill like that i want to know if i can hit it safely or if it's best to just turn around and now i know that with that hill a little bit of speed i can probably get through it and we'll probably be okay so i can I kind of like that part about riding. Here we go. This is a fun little straightaway. Let's just go crazy and slam the pedal down and slide and hit a tree and go topple over in the river. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. Also, despite how not fun it is in the moment, I kind of do like getting stuck because then you realize, one, what you can't do, but two, what kind of tools you actually need to get yourself out of the situation. So that if you don't have those tools, you can, you know, buy those tools, like a rope, maybe a, a winch, or maybe, maybe a few extra ropes even. But you get to learn what you need, what you don't need. I don't know, I think that's, I think that's really important. And it's nice to get stuck when you don't care to be stuck, opposed to like 12 o'clock at night when you're too numb. That's when you don't want to be stuck. It's okay to be stuck when you don't really care that much. Here's another hill, let's hit it. It's a small hill, but it's a hill. This is a good little hill. I think I can get myself out of with a winch if I need to. But we gotta go down first, which I don't really like that. I'd rather go up first so that if I don't make it, I can always just come back down. But here, if I'm going downhill, I have no choice but to come back up. Oh, there was something there. Nice, all right, well we're here. Now we just gotta figure out how do I get back out? And we're gonna hit that same spot that we just came down. And if everything works the way I'm wanting it to, hopefully we can climb right back out with no problem. Do I think we can? I think so. But at the same time, there is this log that I just ran over. And I'm gonna see if I can just run it over again. Cause I don't wanna get out in my ball shorts. All right, here we go, going through this little bitty hill. Oh yeah, it's easy. Maybe the Defender's way better at snow than I thought. I think I just had a bad experience when I drove off the cliff. And I think that kind of scarred me a little bit. Or maybe not scarred me, but it definitely made me more aware of what can go wrong. But I think the old Defender can actually do a lot more than I thought it could. Especially when it comes to snow, opposed to ice. Ice? Yeah, that may be a different story. The snow, this thing's handling the snow pretty good. But now let's hurry up and get down to what we actually came for, and that's to go change out the batteries on some trail cameras. Let's go ahead and get that done. 
it's kind of ironic that uh the cameras were changing batteries in it's literally right here where we were doing donuts at the beginning of the video but also like i was mentioning these aren't the trail cameras i was really wanting to change the battery to people were using the road that i get into my property as a parking lot because they couldn't get to their house so i can't get to my place either because they were parked in the way anyway it's fine it's i mean it's not a big deal but Looks like we're gonna have to wait for the snow to be over before we change those batteries. But this trail camera, why not? Let's change its battery too. Yeah, it can never hurt to change a battery, I guess. Even though this isn't really the battery I wanted to change. It will suffice, it will suffice. And there we go. There's one battery and I got one more I wanna change. We may get in trouble right here. We sliding off the road. There we go. We back on now. Oh yeah, we back on the road now. Yeah. This next one, we're actually gonna have to get out walk a little bit, which isn't bad. It's a short little walk, but walk a little bit. We will have to. Old battery down. New battery coming out. Look at all the animal tracks going through here. At least I know my camera's in a good spot. See the little bitty prints right there, the little dark ones? That's actually a red fox, and I've been trying to catch him. I got two traps back here, which is what the camera's actually watching. But the problem is that it's hard for traps to work that well when uh, there's snow everywhere, so. But looky there, we've had activity nonetheless. Got one trap right there. That's supposed to be a pee post, but they've not peed on it. But right over here, you see that little red on top of that rock? Well, that's P. So that fox has been here. He just didn't get caught. Here's the other camera. Swap the battery and I will be on my way. This battery doesn't even need swapped, but I guess it's never a bad idea to swap for a full battery, especially when can't get to the other cameras anyhow. Anyways, hopefully we catch a fox there soon. Hopefully we catch a fox here soon too. As for Can-Am Defender versus six inches of snow, six inches, I think it done pretty well. And who knows, maybe here in a week or two, we'll get to do Can-Am Defender versus 12 inches of snow if this stuff doesn't melt. Click over here if you wanna watch the video where I did accidentally drop off a cliff or right over here for whenever I was trapping some raccoons right back there.